Well, for this young man, with all the talent in the world, he's got to get through the first inning. The first inning has been real rough to him this year. And Mookie launches one to left. Looking up is Maven, but he's just a spectator. It's gone. 16th homer of the season for Mookie, and more first inning trouble for James Paxton. Well, here's the one hitter in the Boston lineup that Paxton's going to have to pitch very carefully. On the 3-1 pitch, forget about this one. That's number 21, and the Red Sox go up 3-0. Deja vu for Paxton with his first inning woes, and for the Yankees, who saw the Red Sox put a seven spot on the board last night, three already tonight. Bottom of the third, Mookie Betts began the game with a towering home run for Boston. Is this number two? Yes, it is. Into the monster seats, second of the night for Betts, and for the reigning MVP, his 17th of the season. Might be heating up. Well, this pitch didn't get inside, so to a guy that I talked about loved it inside, middle half of the plate, throw his hands, get up. This was a mistake by Paxton, and he paid for it. So here's Mookie, who has homered twice against Paxton. Look out, look out, he's got the hat trick. Whatever Paxton's trying, it's not working. And the Red Sox just won't quit. Three homers in three at-bats for Betts, and it's 7-0 Red Sox. Andrew Kashner is pitching for a team with a winning record for the first time. Looking to notch his first victory as a Boston Red Sox. Big ovation for Andrew Kashner. There have been 18 four-homer games in baseball history. No Red Sox has ever done it. He hits it very hard. He's four for four, but it won't clear the wall. It will be another extra base hit and another run for the Red Sox as Chavis comes across. The fourth time I was like, just get you another knock, man, because, uh, you know, it's, it's been a long season for me. And have to uh, it's, been, it's been a grind and you know just trying to get get in where I can and we haven't uh, really been down on ourselves you know it's, it's been rough but you know it's just a part of it you know we're, we're really good at turning the page and getting ready for tomorrow the Red Sox make it two in a row against the Bombers as Mookie Betts stole the show in this one the reigning AL MVP homered three times giving him five three homer games in his career just one game shy of the all-time mark and he should have plenty more time to climb to the top on Friday night at Fenway, as the Red Sox made it two in a row over the Yankees, Andrew Kashner had a good night. Mookie Betts had a great night. Absolutely. It started with Andrew Kashner as the Red Sox starters are starting to get a little bit of a groove. And when he keeps the Yankees off balance with a lot of glove side command, meaning on the outside part of the plate, inside to left-handers, he was able to mix in his changeup and slider and kept a really good offense at bay and gave his offense a chance to jump start the game and boy did they Statcast AI powered by AWS talks about Mookie Betts getting the Red Sox off to a good start with a home run but he didn't end it there he picked himself up with the third inning another home run and he wouldn't finish there as well he ended up with three homers on the night and a double and you can see the launch angles all different different on every one of them Mookie Betts and the Red Sox are rolling. They sure are. Meanwhile, the Yankees still have the huge lead in the division, but they have a huge concern, which is the state of their starting pitching. Two more games at Fenway between the Yanks and the Red Sox this weekend. Yeah, it's been a rough go for the Yankees rotation over their last five games. New York starters have failed to make it beyond the fifth inning in each game.